Brightspeed is a powertrain company in California. We make an electric drive powertrain for medium duty trucks. This truck is an Isuzu NPR. It's a medium duty cab forward truck. It's 14,500 pounds gross vehicle weight. They usually ship with a 200 horsepower diesel engine, five speed or six speed automatic transmission. This particular one has had the powertrain removed, so the engine, the transmission, the prop shaft, and the differential are all gone, and that's been replaced with our range extended electric powertrain. It has a pair of electric motors driving the rear wheels, it has a battery pack which you can charge from the grid by plugging it in, and it has a range extender generator, a micro turbine that burns compressed natural gas. So you can think of it as a battery electric truck, plug it in, charge it, drive on the energy that's in the battery, but when you run out of range, you can start the generator, the turbine, and burn fuel. In this case, it's natural gas, but we can do diesel as well. Then the range is only limited by the size of the fuel tank and finding somewhere to refuel it. So if it's diesel, of course, that's not a problem. So the reason that we're doing this for trucks and not cars is that the drive technology is very expensive. The batteries are expensive and the motor and the power electronics and the generator, it's all expensive stuff. So to make the economics work for the owner, you've got to be able to save enough fuel to recover the capital cost in a reasonable time. And therefore, it has to go into vehicles that are burning a lot of fuel. And these trucks can burn 5,000 gallons a year. So we can get a reasonably short payback on that. The capstone micro turbine was a good fit for this application because it's a proven and available engine. This is a 200 pound generator assembly with a 40,000 hour life. To build a piston engine for the same durability would weigh 2,000 pounds. It's very much cleaner. This engine meets all of the latest California emission standards without any after treatment. There's no catalytic converter, there's no particulate filter, there's no urea injection, and yet it has about one-tenth of the emissions of an engine with all of those things on it. It's also a very low maintenance engine, so it doesn't have a lubrication system, it has air bearings, and it doesn't have a cooling system. So there really isn't any maintenance on the engine other than the air filter and the fuel filter. The best possible drive cycle for this kind of thing is a garbage truck, 130 miles a day with a thousand hard stops. In that case, you know, they're doing 2.8 miles per gallon. We can save them $35,000 a year in fuel alone, and maintenance savings on top of that. So I think there's a very large future for this kind of technology in the vehicle fleet. In the US alone, in the medium duty truck fleet, we're spending $35 billion a year on fuel. And this system takes the fuel consumption from 10 or 12 miles per gallon up to 20 to 40 or 50 miles per gallon. So we could potentially save half of that $35 billion a year in fuel. So you can see that this could penetrate quite a lot of the trucking fleet.